Hi, I'm entomologist Stephanie Hill with Home Team Pest Defense. While there are more than 12,000 species of ants on the planet, there's one in particular that's quite a nuisance, the red imported fire ant. With their aggressive defensive behavior, they've become prevalent through regions throughout the United States from when they were first introduced in the 1930s from South America. You can tell if you have fire ants by the globular shaped mounds sitting on top of the soil. When those mounds are disturbed, the ants will flood out. For the ants themselves, they are an eighth to a quarter inch in length and can be red to black in color. Fire ants are known to be very aggressive. They will bite and sting any person or animal that they feel threatened by. Fire ants use their jaws to pick up a fold of skin and then use their stinger on the abdomen to sting that fold of skin. Their stings are often uncomfortable and result in welts. Some people have allergic reactions to these stings and their symptoms can be very severe. Fire ants are usually most active in the spring and fall right after a rainfall and when temperatures are above 75 degrees. Fire ants prefer to nest and forage around sidewalks, along the foundations of homes, and under trees and shrubs. Once fire ants become active around your home, they're often hard to control because of their biology. Some, but not all fire ants, have multiple queens and multiple nests within their colony. As with any other ant species, each ant has their own specific job. If that job fails, the whole colony fails. Another reason fire ants can be hard to control is because their colonies can be three to six feet underground. If that colony is disturbed, the ants will move to a different location, sometimes not visible to the eye. If you find fire ants in your yard, you can try a do-it-yourself product. Your local retail store, county extension agent, or pest control professional can make recommendations of products and how to treat the ants. It is recommended that you treat all the mounds at once. When using a do-it-yourself product, be sure to read and follow all the guidelines on the label to protect yourself and others. If your do-it-yourself treatment is unsuccessful and your fire ants still persist, it's best to call your pest control professional. Regular treatments from your pest control professional can help minimize fire ants in your yard. Any lot that is left untreated in your neighborhood can allow reinfestations of fire ants into your yard because they're continuously foraging for food. Our technicians can come and inspect your yard and give an effective treatment for your fire ants. For more information about fire ants and how to protect your yard, call us at Home Team Pest Defense or visit us at pestdefense.com.